On this episode of Wine and Real Estate TV, we talk with Elena Money from Garmin Homes about new construction and take a little bit of the mystery out of the whole process. Hi, this is Chris Morton with another episode of Wine and Real Estate TV here today in a bathtub. Yes. Awesome. This is our, <laughs> our guest, Elena Money from Garmin Homes. Um, thank you so much for joining us. We are not in my bathtub. We're not no. even in your bathtub. No. We're in your design center. We're in Studio G's bathtub. Indeed. We're in the design center for Garmin Homes. We will do some pictures around and intersperse yeah. them through this video. Well, yeah. tell everybody why we're here today. What, who are okay. you? What do you do? Why are we? What, the topic is new construction. Okay. And what do you know about new construction? I hope I know something. Um, I hope so too. <laughs> so I'm the division president for Garmin Homes, which um, very recently also includes Fresh Paint by Garmin Homes, a yeah. new brand we're launching. Very exciting. Um, and I oversee the day-to-day -day operations of Garmin Homes, and we build homes in across multiple price ranges and sizes and across the triangle and Very cool. this is the place where people come and personalize their homes yeah which is really cool well the main reason we're having this conversation today other than the fact that you were so kind as to say yes is i had a couple come into my open house yesterday and they had just bought a home about a year ago and they were looking for their parents to move down here uh and they said they thought about new construction, but they were really scared. They were intimidated by the yeah. process. They didn't know what it entailed. Yeah. And I, I can remember from other clients how it's, it, it, they go in with this feeling that it's very stressful, and in reality, it's not. Tell everybody well, a little bit about how I mean, it works. It certainly, could, it certainly can be. I mean, to validate that feeling, it's an incredibly personal purchase, and it's a lot of steps, and it's complicated, but it's it's our responsibility as builders to really break that down into digestible steps for the homeowner and really lay out the scope um, as broadly as we can in the beginning to give people an idea of what to expect. We have a page on our website called What to Expect When You're Expecting a That's Garment great. Home, yeah. and that really walks people through how to be successful during a new home build, because there's so many, so many different moving parts that... Um, it's impossible for people to really understand it from the outside. Yeah. We do it every day, and that's something we even talk about with each other. Remember, we do this every day. They don't do that. You can never assume that the buyer understands the process without taking the time to explain it. Exactly. I, and I know every home is different, yes. size-wise and all, but walk us through this. Somebody walk, comes into one of your neighborhoods, they mm -hmm. see dirt. How long <laughs> How I call that dirt in a dream. Dirt, yes, dirt in a dream. <laughs> yeah. How long until they move into their house? About how many months is it typically? Is there a rule of thumb like yeah. a, a month every thousand square feet? Or Well, Chris, we're actually one of the only builders, the only one I know of that guarantees their closing dates from the time people sign their contract. Awesome. And, and we do that to help the buyers plan. Um, Less stress. Exactly, exactly. It's taking one variable off the table. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I would say in general, our houses take... Uh, four to six months um, to complete, and maybe up to seven at times, just depending on um, different municipalities. We yeah. build with, um, in Wake County, it takes up to seven months. Yes, I understand. Some of them are better to work with than others. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes, indeed. So someone, uh, either they're a client of mine or a client mm -hmm. of another realtor, where they just happen to stumble upon you guys, sure. they decide they want to be uh, build a garment home. Sure. They the next step, obviously, is picking out a floor plan. Right. And then the next step would be they'd come here and they'd pick out design stuff. Yeah. Or... Once you uh, once you've gone under um, gone under contract with one of our um, sales ambassadors, our sales managers, you actually select at the time of contract you select your floor plan, all of your structural options, and then any custom options that you may have asked us to incorporate into the build. And then um, from there, you actually before you come to the studio. Our designers actually send you homework. Oh, yeah. So um, you can be prepared when you come in. So um, part of the homework is reviewing the floor plans, um, going to Sears to pick out your appliances. Very cool. Um, and then uh, coming in here and being prepared to pick out exterior colors. Part of that homework is driving around the communities to find out what kind of exterior colors appeal to you and, and really kind of arming yourself with as much information about what you like before you come in here. So otherwise it's terribly overwhelming. Right, and I know you guys don't like to do cookie cutter where everything looks no. the same, so that, that adds another scope word. into it. Yes, <laughs> yes, 
indeed. Before I forget, I wanted to mention something. You guys did, uh, you give back to the community greatly. We and do. you did, had, had a benefit house in Chapel Hill that was yeah. off the chain, incredible. Oh, thank you. I'm, I was so excited to get honored to, to be invited to that. Tell everybody a little bit about that process and what happened. We had the distinct honor and pleasure of building the 2015 Miracle Home uh, for Mix 101.5 for the Radiothon and Benefits at Duke Children's Hospital. So the proceeds and profit from that home um, go towards our pledge amount, which we made during the Radiothon last wow. year, which was the largest single pledge to date, 200000 Yikes. Um, so we partnered. Pressure there. With, I know. <laughs> well, we partnered with our sister company, Go Realty, and um, together we have... Uh, we're very close to that amount. Uh, awesome. We write our check in April, and um, we're so excited to give at least two hundred thousand dollars back. That's phenomenal. Yeah. It was a great house. Thank you. I think I how it. many square feet was that house? It Do you was remember? twenty-eight eighty-four, I believe. It felt like thirty-five, four thousand. It was really like just like wow, this house is amazing. How well. Aww. Yeah. Thank very, very you. Cool. Well, we designed it around um, the concept of caregiving because it was inspired by the patients and families mm -hmm. at Duke Children's Hospital. We wanted to provide a space that was inspired by anyone who cares for another person. And if you think about it, that's anyone who lives in any home. You're always right. going to care for the people in your right. home. So we wanted the spaces to really surprise and delight people and um, work around the needs of the family. That's awesome. Very, Thanks. Very, very awesome house. Thank you. Back to another topic about design. I. Uh, I, I'm very hands-on with my buyers when they come in and they, they're buying from the dirt and the dream. Right. Uh, and I know I'm not. I can't speak for other realtors that may or may not do this, but how do you handle the trepidation of someone who wants to? They're they're buying a three hundred thousand dollar home, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden, if with all the extras they want to put in, it's a five hundred thousand dollar. Yeah. How do you reel them back in? Oh, we rely on you greatly for yeah, that. Yeah. Um, we rely on the partners, uh, the partnership that we create with our cooperating brokers to really be realistic with people and understand that just because you like it doesn't mean that you may receive the full value of it later. Right. Um, one of the other things we ask is that buyers really take that that walk down that plank with us and by investing in those options up front right. because obviously it may it may appeal to you and you may realize the full value of it but for someone else it may not be resellable. Purple um, so and red countertops may not work for everyone. Exactly and we do a fair amount of editing um, the, the options that we even offer right. um, to kind of head that off at the pass but we rely on our cooperating brokers tremendously and appreciate when they come in and really provide a voice of reason um, so we, I like that. For the for the buyers, and um, we obviously don't want anyone to come in here and overspend. Yeah. We have a sign over there that says, "Do you love it enough to pay cash?" Because we feel That's it's right. our responsibility. We'll take a picture of that. Exactly, to set realistic expectations with people. And I don't want anyone living in their garment home and eating peanut butter for four years yeah. because they can't afford to go out. Yeah. I, I, something you just said came to my mind. My last clients that we we bought a home, uh, they wanted to make some last minute changes. That the house there was enough time to do so. Uh, and they, they ended up going with the stuff your designer came up with that was phenomenal. And she since had, they since had a, uh, a housewarming party and I got to see the complete package with all their stuff and really? it looks incredible. Oh, so your so designer, my, my hat's off to them. You guys Aww. did a great job with that. They're, they're the best team around. That. They're known as the, the pretty committee. That's what our design team here like is known it. as the pretty committee. So. I like it very much. Yeah. Well, have we missed anything, anything you want to share with people other than, well, I want to get your contact info, but is there any other? Yeah, I would just say um, have confidence in your own style and design. Um, you may not have your own show on HGTV. That's on my website, that, or our website, that, but you should have confidence in, in what you like. It's boring for us to build the same home over right. and over again. We'd rather build a home that's really a reflection of you, and this space is created for you to come in and really be inspired to find your own style and for us to give you something intensely right. personal, which is right. a, your new home. You get, most so many people pay, play it so safe. And, yeah, we don't. And you guys, that's I, not me. No, I know. And We're I think sitting that's in a awesome. bathtub, yeah. drinking champagne. And I, and I love that because, I mean, there's not, you guys don't, I, as it just comes to my mind, you don't put builder beige paint in your house. You actually have nice colored homes. People Wait. can move in, and it's like they're moving into a model. Aw, uh, thank it's you. Really cool. Well, it's, it's, it's funny you said that builder beige because Fresh Paint by Garmin Homes, the tagline is Rage Against Builder Beige. Yeah, I remember, that's true. I remember. Uh, and, and Fresh Paint by Fresh Made by Garmin Homes actually has curated whole home packages designed by, cool. um, by me and by Allison, yeah. who's our head of the Pretty Committee. So people can, if you're not up for picking everything from doorknobs to grout colors, you can pick a whole aesthetic brilliant. package that's perfect for you. That is brilliant. Well, we've come to that segment of the show where we drink wine. Oh, and I okay. screwed up today. I was supposed to call 
and say, well, what kind of wine do you like? And I was supposed to go pick up that wine. And about five minutes before we got started today, I realized we didn't have wine. So we, we raided, have it in the, fridge. We I raided have the um, Garmin Homes refrigerator and got some delicious Asti Martini that is actually really good in a laptop. So highly recommend. Cheers. I have no idea how much this is. Would you imagine how much this little bottle is cost? I don't know. Maybe uh, $5? $7, $5, $7. I don't But I mean, they drink really well in the bathtub. It's just so really cute. Cheers. Perfect Absolutely. bathtub size. Perfect bathtub size. Mm. And it's a little sweet, but you know what? It's great in a bathtub. Woo, it's really sweet. <laughs> Well, tell everybody how they can find you, your website, anything um, else you want to give. Okay, you can find Garmin Homes at www.garminhomes.biz, that's G-A-R-M-A-N, and uh, Fresh Paint by Garmin Homes, you can find us on Facebook, um, as well as Garmin Homes, mm -hmm. and um, you can find my story at buildlikeagirl.com, that's oh, yeah. my blog. Um, I forgot about that, that's yeah, really cool. you can it's read cool all blog. about us, pretty much anywhere. Very cool. And as always, I so much appreciate you watching these episodes. For further episodes, you can go to Wine and Real Estate TV. That address is wineandre.com. As always, spelled W-I-N-E-A-N-D-R-E.com. Thank you so much, Elena. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. As always, cheers. Cheers.